Hey there YouTube, it's me Tifa Wilderness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the second of this month's Korean toy reviews. Now today I have got a figure from a new to Korean toy line called Metal Car Bot. And uh, it's a toy line that's not been going for very long. It's only been going for a couple of months. And uh, I've already got uh, one figure from the line and done a review of it in the form of this guy, which is uh, Metal Car Bot Blue Cop. And uh, he's a great little figure. Um, Emphasis on the word little because he's, he's kind of small. Um, he's well painted, reasonably well articulated. He's got a nice little alt mode of a, you know, like a futuristic police, well, know, like a sporty police car, and, and his robot mode looks good. But but he's so small. I mean, I paid like nearly 60 quid for this thing, and he's, he's like not much bigger than a Voyager. So I was a little disappointed by this guy in that regard. But the toy line this guy comes from, Metal Car Bot, started about two, three months ago, um, started off with four characters, and then, since then, in the last sort of like two months or so, it's gone into overdrive. It's like literally every week they've introduced in the show a brand new character, and then ne ne the next thing you know, there's a brand new toy on the shelf in Korea. And they've like, every week, new toy, new character, bang, 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 bang. And the toy line, which started out with four characters, is now up to 12. <laughs> 12 characters in such a short space of time and their alt modes vary from you know like a jumbo jet to a pirate ship to a monster truck to a bulldozer to an excavator you know all manner of alt modes now they ain't particularly big figures as is proved with this guy um but and also they can be kind of expensive to buy from korea especially if you're buying them off ebay because the ebay scalper prices i mean I got this guy off an eBay scalp, well, an eBayer, and um, I thought I was getting a good deal. But when it actually arrived, it was a lot smaller than I thought it was, and I, I, I felt a little, a little cheated and ripped off. But if you know where to look and if you know how to play the game, you can get these figures reasonably cheap. And this month, I've got the the second figure in the toy line, and he's uh, a lot bigger. And uh, he was, I got him considerably cheaper. I got him for like uh, just over 45 quid. So I got him like 10 quid cheaper than this guy. So who have I got to show you today? Well, it's a figure that I took to uh, TF Nation uh, last week. Um, one of the two Korean figures that I, uh, I got this month that I decided to take over to TF Nation. Got them out in the bar a couple of times and showed them to a few people and... People showed and ex expressed some interest in these uh, these big chunky Korean things that I like to collect. Anyway, so this guy. Um, now t the other figure that I got this month, uh, Tobot 2023 Tobot Z. He's he's a really great figure. He's super chunky. He's really solid. Um, he's got he's got a great transformation. He's got a, a good amount of articulation. He's a, he's a great. You know, the character from the show is really good as well. The new 2023 Tobot series is really good. And Tobot Z in that show, is he's got an amazing story arc and I'm really enjoying it. But this guy um, debuted in the second episode of Metal Carbot. The episode is on YouTube if you want to go watch it. But uh, who am I talking about? Well, I am talking about Metal Carbot Mega Trucker. Right, yes, yeah, so here he is. In his alt mode and before we get to, too engrossed in looking at that let's have a quick look at the box so here's his box typical korean box chunky card stock fairly large window lots of korean hangul for the, the character's name across the bottom you've got the little kid who's uh you know that who's, who's who's got the activator watch and captures these robots and then uses them to you know I wouldn't exactly say he uses them to fight, but you know he, he gets into battles with other robots and uh, subdues them and then captures them. It, it's kind of like a, a, a rip on Transformers and Pokemon. It's 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 got some in, interesting gimmick going on. Um, yeah, so uh, you got you know pictures of the character on the side, more pictures on the top. Got a picture of the robot mode on there. You got the the kid in the robot mode on there. More pictures on the back showing the the robot mode with his with his card gimmick. And then it, there is uh, is uh, alt mode, and uh, it's made by uh, Sam G Entertainment, um, who is the same company that did um, uh, Battle Watch Car, and I think they did uh, they they didn't they do um, Mini Force as well, but anyway, 
anyway, you've got all the the uh, the Korean bump, you know, product information on the bottom is should that to be of interest to you. So yeah, nice chunky box. Now before I go any further, I just wanted to show a size comparison between this guy's box and uh, Blue Cop's box. And these are both figures from the same toy line, and and I think this guy is a little bit more expensive than this guy on the shelf, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a big size difference in the boxes alone. So the figure, Mega Trucker. I mean, you've got his um, his card, which has got his name on it, obviously, and obviously it's got his uh, transparent, you know, sort of card weapon or whatever they call on the back. But we'll we'll get into that in a bit. Alt mode, big orange dump truck. You know, it's a dump truck. It's got a dump bed in the back, even though it doesn't actually tip. Um, yeah, pretty good. I, I like his truck mode. Um, his wheels are a little small, and compared to the design of the wheels in the CGI model, they, the detail on the wheels isn't quite as good as on the CG, CGI model, but uh, not too bad otherwise. I mean, obviously, uh, the thing about these um, metal carbot figures is when they're driving around in alt mode, they have eyes in the windscreen of the vehicle mode, like you know, like cars characters from cars. They're kind of like that. They have the, like these digital eyes in the uh, the windscreen, which is quite interesting. So you can see his uh, mega trucker's eyes there. Um, so it's it's fairly chunky, plugs together very firmly. Um, it's got some you know pretty good uh, truck details. He's got you know a big bumper there. He's got lights and a grill. Um, it's got uh, it's got door mirrors. Um, you can see like the, the door with the steps to climb up. Then you've got the you know the truck bed on the back, and you go around the back and uh, well there's, there's not much to see at the back really. But it's a decent truck. It's, it's, it's a good truck. It's got pinned wheels. It rolls exceedingly well. Not much more you can say about it here. And it's orange. I like the colour orange, obviously. So, yeah. Now, transformation. Transformation is fairly intuitive, as they are on most Korean toys. So let's get into it, shall we? So to start off with, you break the front and the back of the truck. Separate the two, like that. And then you bring that up. And then that, that brings those, yeah, that gets things started. So next, you fold out the foys, twizzle the waist round to the front, split the legs. Then you've got these black things in here, which are his feet, which you need to sort of fold all the way out. For now, like so. Then you've got these, you've got the, um, these grey panels here which need to fold down as part of the heel support. You then got these the wheel sections, which then fold in and click into place. Then you've got these side panels, which you need to get your from one, and you spin them around. These fill in these voids here, like that. And then you just bring the foot up like that, and that's one leg done. So to finish it off, just bring the side panel around, click it into place, bring up the foot, and the legs are done. Now moving up top, Go around the back, you've got these little grey panels, you fold them in around the back like that. Then you separate the top of the cab, grab it and then pull, and you bring the arms out to the side. Um, now, um, right, so you then got to these panels here, these window panels, you've got to bring them out and fold them round like so. So it's this window panel here. Bring it out, fold it round and clip it in like that. Then the arms. So you've got these pieces here. You sort of hinge them out and down. Then you extend the arm and you bring out the fist and there's one of the arms. So we do it again. Fold this section down, bring bring the arm round, expand it or, or pull it out, and then bring out the fist, and that's his arms done. And then the last thing is the head reveal. So it's got this little little flip round panel on the top. You just flip it round, and there's his head. And there we have. Metal Carbot, Metal Trucker in his robot mode. Now, 
before we get any further, I want to do some quick size comparisons. So here he is next to Blue Cop. And <laughs> as you can see, he's a lot bigger than Blue Cop. And in episode two of the show, which you can watch on YouTube, these two get into a fight. And they seem to be a little bit more evenly matched. But in the toy form, there, there is a definite size difference between the two. Now, my usual size comparison in reviews is good old Combiner Wars Megatron because he's a full scale leader class bot and I like using him for size comparisons and he's very good as a size comparison for Korean toys because they tend to be quite big and uh, let's see how this guy measures up so he's not quite leader class scale he's got more bulk going on for sure I mean he's, he's a lot wider and chunkier than Combiner Wars Megs but uh, not quite as tall I mean he's looking into his chest so he's, he's a little bit shorter and there you go. Now, this guy, compared to Tobot 2023 Tobot X, Tobot X is a super, super chunky, very, very solid bot. This guy, not so much. I mean, he's a little wibbly, especially around the waist area. Now, he does have a, a waist rotation due to transformation, but the rest of the articulation on this bot is a, a little bit of a letdown. He's only got like basic articulation. When I mean basic articulation, I mean he's only got like, you know, you know, the, the main joints, you know, elbows, shoulders, hips and knees. And uh, but he hasn't got the intermediate joints, you know, like a bicep swivel or a thigh swivel. Um, he has got a waist joint due to transformation, but uh, everything else is, is completely missing. Now, he does have an interesting head sculpt, if you can see it. And uh, it's, uh, it's got like an American footballer's helmet because in the show he's a bit of a bruiser even though when he make, you first see him he's like doing breakdancing. He's, he's like interrupting a bunch of kids who are under a, a, a motorway overpass and they're, they're you know, dancing to some, some, some rap music and then he comes up and starts breakdancing and yeah, he, he likes dancing to music. Um, but uh, when he's fighting, he's, he's very much a butch, burly, you know, sort of American footballer, quarterback style robot. You know, he likes going in with shoulder barges and stuff and, you know, flattening his opponents by just you know, basically steamrolling them over. So he's a, he's a bit, a bit of a bit of a, a beefcake, you know, bruiser guy. Um, so he's, he's got a, like an American footballer style helmet for his head sculpt, which is pretty cool. And you can actually see his eyes in there. Um, the head is on a ball joint and it's got a good range of motion. It's got a a decent amount of wiggle from side to side goes all the way around and can look up and down as well so it's got an excellent range of motion on the, the the ball jointed head now the rest of the articulation is a bit of a a bit of a letdown shoulders now they can go up and down like that go all the way around on a loud ratchet Now, he has got double elbows, so you've got that joint there, and then you've got that joint there. So you've got double elbows, but no, no uh, bicep swivel, um, nothing at the wrist. He does have a waist joint due to transformation, but it's a little bit off center, and it's only got like one detent, so it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit rough in uh, motion. Um, now, he, he's kind of got an ab crunch, but it's spring loaded and it keeps springing back. But you, 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 know, you can do the backwards, you know, um, I don't know what you, what you call it when it's going backwards, but uh, backwards stretch or whatever. Um, now, going down to the legs, he has got very short thighs, um, which have a decent range of motion. over the full Van Damme. Um, now the knees only go that far. They do go forwards a couple of clicks, but then you go back that far. But you can, if you open this um, this panel here, you can get, you know, almost get them to go over, oh, well, up to 90 because it's a transformation joint. So you can get a little bit more there. Um, the feet, um, he's got a little bit of a toe bend, but apart from that, that's all he's got at the feet. Now, 
typical Korean toy. He's got like a, an angle cut on his uh, on his feet that give him a neutral A stance when he's stood on a flat surface. So he does stand up rather well. Um, now, uh, articulation is basic, right? It's basic and a, and a little bit of a letdown. Like I said, he's a, he's a bit wibbly wobbly because you know, there's, there's quite a lot of give and play in some of the joints. Um, he is chunky. He is decently sized. Um, he's got you know, a good amount of ratitude because most Korean toys do have ratchet joints that are, are quite good. Um, but, you know, I would have liked a few more articulation joints. I mean, Blue Cop has got bicep swivels, right? Uh, they're probably part of the transformation, but, you know, he does have bicep swivels. This guy doesn't. They could quite easily have fitted a mushroom peg in there. Um, you, they could have given him, you know, you know bicep swivels. They could have given him five swivels. Um, maybe some wrist rotations, I don't know. Oh, yeah, right, so obviously articulation on this guy is a little bit of a letdown. He's a decent bot, a little bit wibbly. He's got a nice aesthetic, decent alt mode. He's got a good range of uh, articulation on the head sculpt, if nothing else. And uh, yeah, he does look all right. I kind of like him, but you know, he's a letdown in other areas. But um, there is one more thing with this guy. And that is his card weapon. So you've got the card, which you can take off. And there it is. And if you turn around, now the Metal Car Bots, they have a faction symbol. And that is their faction symbol, right there. So they have a faction symbol. So you have this thing, which is, is a card, and then uh, you just fold it out, like so. And then bring those bits up. And then you bring these little, little, little swirly bits out and there you have a shield and this is his sort of signature weapon his power up weapon when he when he's going into battle he can power this weapon up and it gives him extra extra abilities and and, and you know strength to you know battle through whoever he's fighting and uh, yeah that all the metal car bots have these weapons i'm sure they have a have a name but uh, I don't know what it is because, you know, I've, uh, so far the show is not dubbed, dubbed into English. Now, this has a place to go on the robot mode. It uh, clips onto his shoulder like that. Uh, like so, which is great. And uh, obviously in the show he uses it for shoulder barging. But the thing is, though, when he's running up at you, he's got to run, you know, he's, he's got to run like that he's got to run at an angle now it would have been nice if they'd have also put a handle on this so that when he's holding it up you know he can he can hold it up in his in his fist but i can't see any any ways or means that he can do that if they gave him an extra joint where it, it would it could plug into his, the front of his arm uh, that would have been great so a missed opportunity there they, they could have given him a little bit more play play pattern if they'd have given him some additional places he could uh, mount his, his his weapon gimmick and uh, another thing I want to say before I leave, um, QC issues, this guy has got some, uh, most notably this this thing here does not like to clip into place. The other one's all right, but uh, they, they, they have a clip port here for, you know, because when the, the arms fold up, would have been nice if they'd integrated a clip so that they actually clipped into place. So yeah, he's a bit of a mi mixed bag. But in a good way. Um, he, he's an okay figure. He looks nice. He's a decent size. Got a reasonable weight to him. A little bit wibbly. Got a few minor QC issues. Um, limited articulation. But he, he looks cool. He's an interesting character in the show. If you, you want to go and watch um, episodes one and two, they are on YouTube. Um, but uh, unfortunately, they haven't really put any more full episodes up the rest of them and they just put clips up for the episodes when they've done the character reveals and the new characters but um yeah so there we go there's my review of this guy um metal car bot mega trucker he's not bad he's okay I, I don't regret buying him got him for a decent price he's a decent size figure and uh he's he's all right but you know not perfect so that's been my review that's uh, my two reviews for this month. Uh, there is going to be another review uh, this month because uh, I got gifted 
a uh, Korean toy at TF Nation by a certain Mr. Gary Churm or Hot Rodney Prime. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he gifted me a KO Korean toy, uh, which was which was nice. And uh, I suppose I better do a review on it. But uh, don't expect anything special because it's, it's a KO of a copolymer combiner um, that's, uh, you know, you know, I'm not a huge fan of copolymer combiners, to be honest. And uh, yeah, so I will I will be doing a review on it next week. It might be a small stuff review because this thing's very basic, very very crap, and it isn't really, doesn't really warrant a full blown review. But with that said, I've been TFR Wilderness. Hopefully, you'll catch me next time. See yous. Bye. <laughs>